you fall, his name is Jesus. Jesus. One thing that I love the most about Parkin is that when she was sick or had any complications with herself, she never complained about it. She always put people before herself, even when we both had COVID. Puggin, we had some great memories. I know one thing, we never went hungry in church. Because if we had a bag of snacks, we just throw it over the aisle, throw it over the pew, pass it down. We always share it. I miss talking to her every single day. We did not miss a day. Text messaging a million times a day, phone calls, the laughs. She is just dearly missed. Uh, Puckin is was a sweet child. She loved everybody. What I'd like to say about Jimmy Butler, the time that I've known him, uh, I knew he was a family man that cared about his family deeply. He was um, a caring husband, a loving father. Um, he was good to his, all his family. He loved family, enjoyed his family. I just want you to know that I love you. We're going to miss your family gumbo and our family Super Bowl parties together. Um, until we see you again, we love you and we miss you. The love of my life. Uncle Jim, we, we love you and we miss you. I believe that peaceful rest as well miss you as well. He set foot and he did what he had to do. He would pray and he respected his pastor. Um, but I just want you to know that you, you're gonna be thoroughly missed from in all aspects, from your teaching and your preaching of God's word. And I would call him Pastor Jim, and he would look back at me, especially when we made certain comments, uh, when pastor would be preaching, he said, I'm with you. What can I say about Virtus Marie Howard? I've been knowing Ms. Virtus since the 10th grade. That's when I first met her and she became one of my mothers. Um, every time I would see her, she would always call me Barbie and was very encouraging. And she would always leave that cherry jubilee lipstick on your cheek. What I could say about Mama Virtus is that she, she really was a loving and caring person, I always had a good time with her and my godmama cooking when we would now go over to the house. The young lady that's standing behind me, you were so happy when she came into the world when you first found out about her. I thank you for those little small lessons, your most famous saying of keep living. You'll see what I'm saying, just keep living. And I do see a lot of things that, you, that you've taught me. He was a good and faithful servant. He loved the Lord. He loved coming to church. And he had no problem for asking you for whatever he wanted. He was very, very nice, loving, understanding, and a very cheerful person. He never said no. He was always there to listen, uphold, and take care of you. You know, he was the member at our church that everyone just kind of generously gave to. So he was affectionately known as Papa, and we respected him as such, and he loved our church. Michael was um, kind of a quiet storm. He didn't have a lot to say, but if you ever stopped and had a conversation with him, you would know that um, he did have a love for God. He definitely loved his family. And then he knew the people around him in the church. He was going to always ask about the kids and how they were doing and so forth. I remember him as always having a smile when he's greeted. There was never a moment where I can see a sad sadness on his face. And we're going to miss him because he was a quiet man, but he had a lot to say when he said it, and he said it quietly. I met Kathy when I joined Peace Arrest 18 years ago, and she welcomed me and my family into her heart, her home, her own family. Kathy was just that person that I thought I knew from long time ago. She was going to make sure that you were welcome. She was gonna make sure that you had something to eat and whatever you needed to be at peace and felt welcome with her. Uh, she was 
a great friend, sister. Kathy had a smile that was just unforgettable. First off, I want to thank Tifa Ress for their prayers and uh, thoughts for the, us doing a bereavement time. Uh, I want to thank my pastor for his encouraging words of comfort for my family. And um, just want to say I'm going to really miss my brother. Uh, Miss Glover was a member of the Urshan Ministry. She was new to us. However, she was very sweet and very kind. She always had a kind word uh, for me uh, each week. She was such a sweet, quiet spirit. I did not have the privilege of knowing her very well, but I can tell by her children and her grandchildren that she must have been a phenomenal woman.